move on to the other big thing that the administration did. Now, college loans. This It's interesting. I know, there's people who have college loans. But I keep saying it's not about affordability. Uh, yes, college is unaffordable. It's about making college more unnecessary. It's a giant scam. It's a consumer product that they're selling you as a golden ticket to be in the upper middle class. But they're not really getting any education. In Romans chapter 13, the Bible says that you should owe no man nothing but to love. And in Proverbs, it talks about how the borrower is servant to the lender. Now, I'm not against borrowing. I'm not against getting things on credit, but you pay it back. And I bring that up because Joe Biden has done it again. He has instituted another arm of his student loan repayment program. Now, I'm not begrudging anybody that's taking advantage of this. Um, I know people that have taken advantage of this and it has been a blessing to them. I mean, people that have had thousands of dollars in student loans that magically poof went away even though it really didn't go away, either the taxpayer is gonna have to pay for it or they're just gonna print more money to cover it. Either way, my children and grandchildren, your children and grandchildren are gonna have to bear the brunt of this, either through hyper deflation, either through the dollar crashing, either through the economy crashing. Either way, we're kicking the can down the road and our next generation is gonna have to deal with this. But it's interesting that Joe Biden is doing this in conjunction with letting all the migrants and people coming in. He's even now thinking about letting Palestinian refugees come in. But this is not something that Joe Biden is doing out of the kindness of his heart. Oh no, Joe Biden is trying to buy votes. This today is Senator Ron Johnson. He's a member of the Homeland Security uh, uh, Committee. Uh, also, uh, subcommittee on investigations, a committee on the foreign relations. So he knows a little bit about almost everything. And uh, one middle America honest guy, Senator Johnson, uh, things are not getting better. They're getting worse. Uh, where where do you want to start this, uh, this Sunday morning? Well, first of all, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you know, I think the latest outrage, I signed on to a letter uh, spearheaded by Joni Ernst to the president saying, do not bring in Palestinian refugees. Uh, you, you know, the president's already opened up the border to six, seven, eight million people. Uh, Venezuela's opening up its jails, its mental institutions. We're, we're going to, you know, we, I'm sure we've already got members of incredibly violent gangs. I mean, it'll, you know, America would be shocked by you know, what these gangs do. Uh, we've opened up our country to it. Let's at least not bring in you know, Palestinian refugees who hate our guts. I mean, you, you, John, you, you're aware of what, unfortunately, the Palestinians teach their children, okay? Um, th there's a reason that the Arab nations don't accept Palestinian refugees uh, on a full-time basis. Um, by the way, having none, done that, none of the that other surrounding we, we wouldn't have a problem. Accepted. Yes. Right. So why, why, why would the Biden administration do so well? The answer is pretty easy. They, they want to win Michigan, and they think that will be popular around Detroit, I suppose. And you know, close, close to election, close state, that might make a difference. So it's, it's all about election politics. It's, it's why they're paying off student loans. They're, they're buying votes. They're trying to create, and try to letting you know, millions of people in this country uh, pump up the census in uh, blue states, get more members of Congress, uh, these NGOs now, we, we have evidence. They're, they're giving a slip of paper to migrants before they get to America. When you get to the U.S., vote for Joe Biden. For, you know, obviously, they're not eligible to vote. Now, we, we're, American taxpayer dollars are funding some of these NGOs. You know, we're, we're funding our own demise through the Democrat Party, the radical leftists in the Democrat Party and the Biden administration. So you know, my, my message consistently has been, America, open up your eyes to what the left the Democrat Party, the Biden administration is doing to this country. This, these things just, just didn't happen. This is their game plan and they're implementing it. And so you heard Senator Ron Johnson right there talking about how Joe Biden is buying votes. And that's not the only thing Joe Biden is doing. I recently read about this article here where 
in the state of Michigan under Biden ally, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The state of Michigan is offering $500 in taxpayer money to house illegal aliens as it struggles with the pressure of Biden's invasion. Think about that. They're going to pay $500 to these illegal aliens in Michigan. You have to understand what they're trying to do in Michigan. Michigan is a critical swing state for Joe Biden, and he's struggling in Michigan. He's struggling with the Arabs in Dearborn, the ones that run Dearborn. He's struggling with black people down in Detroit. So what does Joe Biden do? He's going to pump in more and more people into Michigan to make it harder for the Republicans to win. Now, this may not affect this year's election, but it may because I recently heard about a story where like Senator Johnson said how illegals are coming here and they're getting a piece of paper registering them to vote. Yeah, that's happening. It's happening here in America. I saw it happen here in South Carolina that illegals are getting sheets of paper to register to vote. Think about that. Illegals are coming here and they're getting sheets of paper to register to vote in a federal election. The newcomer rental subsidy program provides refugees and other newcomer population eligible households with rental assistance up to $500 per month for up to 12 months with eligibility based on immigration status and household income. And so a Republican Congresswoman wrote a letter to Joe Biden calling this scheme a slap in the face to the state's taxpayers and a way of rolling out the red carpet for illegal migrants. Like I've said over and over and over again, they are replacing us. They're starting with black people, but they want to replace everybody in America. And they're used the guise of, we are a nation of immigrants. These people just trying to come over here to get a better opportunity. No, they're not. I know plenty of people that will come over here legally to get a better opportunity. The Democrats and Joe Biden are pumping these people into the community because they know they're losing the black vote. They know they're losing the legal Hispanic vote. So they got to pipe in these people, pump in these people, bring them in illegally, and then encourage them to vote Democrat. As soon as they get over here, they'll send a representative, an NGO, to come in and help them and tell them to vote for Democrats. That's what they're doing. Hello, I'm with the Biden campaign. Yeah, yeah, I voted for Biden last time. That's fantastic. Is it? Everything costs more. Okay, but Biden's helping pay rent for newcomers to America from around the world. You mean illegal immigrants? I'm struggling to pay my bills, but Biden's paying rent for illegals? They get handouts and I'm paying for it. But Biden can still count on your vote, right? Things were better before Biden. I'm voting for Trump. Make America Great Again Inc. is responsible for the content of this ad. Now, this ad was actually taken down by Google. Google, being the censor police that they're trying to be, actually took this add down saying that it violated its guidelines. It violated its guidelines because it's telling the truth. It's telling the truth of what's really going on here in America. Joe Biden and the Democrats are scared. They're scared that they're losing the black vote. They're scared that they're losing the Hispanic vote, especially the black male vote. And so what are they gonna do? Instead of being on the up and up, Instead of following things in a democratic way, they're always talking about, we gotta save democracy, gotta save democracy. They're not about saving democracy. They're about retaining power. They're about staying in power. They're about saving power. That's what Joe Biden is about, saving power. That's what the people behind him pushing him are about, saving power. Like I've said over and over and over again, what they want to do, they want to use race, they want to use gender, they want to use sexual orientation, whatever they can use to bring about their revolution. That's why they have infiltrated all of the institutions. Why do you think you see all of these riots and protests taking place on college campuses? They have infiltrated our institutions of higher learning. They've poisoned the minds of our next generation to think that America is evil, America is something they should hate. You have people raising the Palestinian flag and taking down the American flag. How crazy is that? In America, you have people taking down the American flag and raising up the Palestinian flag. And most of these people here in America, if they went to Palestine, they will be killed because of their lifestyles. But yet, because you live in a country in America, a free country where you can express yourself freely, you're gonna disrespect this nation, disrespect this land. And then you have all these black pastors who sign on for the ceasefire in Palestine, ceasefire in Gaza. Where all is this 
smoke for what's going on in our community? Where's all the smoke for the Democrats for all the things they've done in the black community? Where's all the smoke for the support of destroying our project? Where's the smoke for the people that want to destroy our families? Where's the smoke for the people that don't adhere and don't believe to the gospel that you claim to preach, that want to censor you, that want to quiet you, that wants to chill your speech, that doesn't want you express your religious freedom? Where's the smoke for that? Nah, there's no smoke for that because what Joe Biden knows is that if he is able to write off these loans for certain people, he'll get their vote. That's why he's trying to buy their vote. It's a sinister plot to retain power, to disenfranchise American citizens. That's what the plan is. That's why he, it's a bribe. He's bribing these students. The majority of people in America don't go to college. The vast majority of Americans didn't go to college and they don't have college loans. So they're a little pissed about this. They're like, you know, there are plumbers out there saying, well, why don't you pay off my truck instead? Cause that's what my money went to. My life went to. And so you have people that have worked hard, that are entrepreneurs, that did not go to college. They did not take out these loans. that did not major in women's studies that did not major in african-american studies that did not major in things that will not guarantee a job in a capitalistic society because they don't understand about supply and demand so what does joe biden do oh he just magically boop, takes care of the loan and so now what that does that angers the people that are going to have to pay for those folks who took out those loans because it See, the Democratic Party is no longer the party of the working man. The Democratic Party is the party of the elites. Joe Biden is helping out the elites. He's helping out the children of the elites. That is what he's doing. And that's why he's buying their vote. He's trying to buy the vote of the young people. Well, fortunately for us and unfortunately for him, it's not working because young people see him as Genocide Joe. They call him Genocide Joe. So all the work he's done to forgive their loans, to wipe it away, is not helping him. They see him as a war crimes person. They do. They see Joe Biden as a war crimes person. He's committing war crimes by not divesting from Israel. And so the young people, especially in Michigan, they really, really don't like Joe Biden in Michigan. And so Joe Biden, because he's afraid, if he loses Michigan, he knows he'll lose the election for sure. So what does he do? He has to say, I might bring in some Palestinian refugees. I'm going to pay off student loans. I'm going to pay off the student loans for people at an art school. Come on, Joe. People see your game, man. People see what's going on. Because our minds are not blind. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it talks about how if our gospel is hid, it is hid to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this world has blinded, lest the light of the gospel of glory of Christ will shine on them. People's minds have been blinded. It's up to us who have been delivered, who are able to see clearly, to speak the truth and love and tell people what's really going on. Joe Biden is trying to buy your vote. And at the end of the day, he wants to replace black people, especially, but Americans as well, with these illegals that he wants to bring them all over the world. To replace us. Joe Biden and the Democrats want to make us victims. We're not victims. We are empowered for greatness.